Activity 8 that's given on page number 7 of your textbook. Activity 8 deals with adjectives. What are adjectives? Adjectives are describing words. Words with describe a noun are called adjectives. Now, one more thing is adjective gives more meaning to a noun. It makes the noun more meaningful. One word that is given in the textbook is mother. Mother. So, kind mother, caring mother. Intelligent mother, smart mother. You can write hardworking mother. See the words given in your textbook are loving mother, gentle mother, strict mother, good mother. Okay, working mother. Some more words you can use for mother are these. What means it shows you what kind of a mother. Okay, same way. There are five more words that are given, and you have to write adjectives for them. The first one is friend. So you can say good friend, best friend, he is an honest friend, diligent, hard working friend, he is a supporting friend. Then you can say match. Say match. It can be exciting. It can be thrilling. Okay. So these are some of the words: thrilling, interesting, exciting. It can be a boring match. It can be an extraordinary match. Then as far as the word beauty is concerned, beauty. It can be inner beauty, outer beauty, external beauty. natural beauty or artificial beauty food say if you have to describe the food that you are eating you can say it was delicious it was tasty it was spicy it was sour it was sweet it was bitter all these are the words you can use for food then say movie a movie that you see it can be interesting it can be a suspense movie it can be a comedy movie it can be boring it can be entertaining See, I have written some words which you can use as adjective. What is your work is for all these? You will find out five more words. Okay, you can help take the help of a dictionary, and you can find out five more words which describe the same thing. Five more words which describe your friend. Five more words which describe a match. Five more words describing the word beauty. Five more words for food, and five more for movie. And then you can write it down in your notebook. You can, but the best thing is take the help of a dictionary and find out which are the words you can use. See, best thing you can do is find out the meaning of thrilling in your dictionary, and you get one more word. So that is how you can find out more words. In activity eight, we have done an activity regarding adjectives. Adjectives, as you already know, are describing words. They describe a noun. they tell us something more about a noun and in activity 8 you have already tried writing a few adjectives like for the word movie or for the word beauty for the word food you have written some adjectives okay now adjectives one more thing you have to learn about adjectives is adjectives are in different degrees of comparison over here in activity 9 of your textbook you have regarding positive degree and comparative degree. positive degree is used when we talk only about one thing okay say for example he is a tall boy so that means what we are talking only about one boy and what is the word we use for that boy is tall and we are saying he is a tall boy over here are we comparing the boy to anybody else no so we are talking just about one boy and what is the quality of that boy how is that boy tall so tall is the adjective and we are talking only about one boy okay so positive degree is used when we talk only about one thing or one person say one noun okay mumbai is a big city so we are talking only about mumbai and we are talking that mumbai is a big city so how is mumbai big so big is again an adjective in the positive degree okay when we talk only about one thing or one person we use the positive degree now come to this comparative degree comparative see comparison when you have the word comparison means you always compare between two things one and the other and then you use a comparison so comparison is always when you are talking about two things or two people like that okay say he is a tall boy i can say ram is taller than rahul so over here what am i doing i am comparing two 
boy and i am comparing ram and rahul and i am saying that ram is tall so what am i doing over here i am comparing two boys okay and the word now i have to use is taller now i cannot use tall okay so now for comparative degree what is the word i am using taller because i want to show one is taller than the other okay more of for comparative degree always remember that this word of comparative degree is followed by than okay so say for example over here as i said mumbai is a big city so say if you are comparing two cities say for example you compare ahmedabad and mumbai so you can say mumbai is bigger than ahmedabad so what are you doing you are comparing two cities okay over here you are comparing mumbai and ahmedabad and you are saying mumbai is bigger than ahmedabad so what happens again you have to use the word than to make the comparison okay so when you are talking only about one person one thing you use the positive degree when you talk about two people or two things or two nouns you, you use the comparative degree there is one more that superlative degree that you learn after lesson number 2 so superlative degree when there are more than two what you will do you will use the superlative degree okay see for forming a day or putting a positive degree into comparative degree generally what do we have to do we add er dark darker broad broader okay now if the word of the positive degree ends with y instead of that y you have to make it i and again you add ia so heavy heavier so y in the end will become i and you put ia okay there are some words where you won't be able to put er or i ia okay over there say for example you use the word intelligent so for comparative degree over there you will have to use the word more more intelligent okay beautiful you will have to use the word more beautiful okay over there you won't be able to add er or i e r what is the word you will have to put over there more now see using these words to make your work more clear i have framed a few sentences okay so using these words that are given in activity 9 of your textbook now see over here say first of all you are using the word heavy this is a heavy box means we are talking only about one box and what are we saying about the box that it is heavy so box is the noun and what are we talking about the noun that it is heavy so it is describing the noun that the box is heavy and over here we are talking only about one box say if we are using the word heavier say this box is heavier than the book so over here what are we comparing we are comparing this box and the book okay and out of them which one is heavier this box so now when we have to compare to we use the word heavier that is the comparative degree and after the comparative degree as i told you you have to use the word than okay say for example we take the word dark say i can write red is a dark color okay so dark color is the noun and dark is the adjective what type of a color is it dark okay now over here i am talking only about red now if i want to use darker means i have to compare two colors so black is darker than red so over here i am comparing black and red and what am i saying that black is darker so i will use the comparative degree over here and over here again i will use the word than say we take the word broad the lane near my house is broad okay lane is a noun how is the lane it is broad broad is the adjective okay so we are talking only about one lane and what are we saying that it is broad but say for example we have to use the word broader means we have to compare two things the main road is broader than the lane so over here what are we comparing the main road and the lane and what is the word we are using broader broader than 
okay as i told you for comparative degree you always need to use the word that okay so see you can frame such simple sentences to make your concept clear some other words you can put you can try for positive and comparative degree use the word strong find out the comparative degree sweet simple lazy busy intelligent beautiful interesting find out more adjectives try to put them into say at least find out 20 more adjectives try to put them into positive degree and comparative degree and to make your concepts clear what you will do is frame sentences frame simple sentences which you will be able to do them correctly okay and that will be very helpful to you to make your concepts clear activity 10 of lesson number 1 that's given on page number 8 of your textbook deals with writing a short paragraph and you have to write a short paragraph about what about your favorite landscape some of the points they have given you to help you write the paragraph okay first of all say landscape so you can write that in india there is a, there are a variety of landscapes right you have mountain that some places you have deserts you have valleys rivers you have a coast line so in india at different places in india you find different types of landscapes now your purpose over here is to write which one is your favorite so first of all you can make a general sentence about landscape that india has a variety of landscapes like mountains valleys deserts sea coasts rivers river banks okay and then you have to start it with out of all these you have to select any one which is your favorite okay so generally when we go out go for a holiday we visit any of the place which may be having any of these landscapes okay so which one is your favorite so you can write my favorite landscape is a mountain i like to go to hill stations okay then why or you can write my favorite landscape is a place near the sea coast why do you like a place near the sea coast or you can write my favorite landscape is a desert okay why do you which place is a desert which you visited so you have to write about which one is your favorite landscape then when did you visit it okay say with your family you must have gone with your friends you must have visited that particular landscape so when did you visit it you can just write one or two sentences about that okay then what is the particular thing about that landscape which you found so interesting that it is your favorite say if we go to mountains we know mountains are full of natural beauty a lot of greenery is there and that greenery provides a lot of soothing effect on our mind okay it gives a lot of peaceful atmosphere say you go to a place near the sea coast then uh, the continuous flow of the sea waves and all that all those things also give a very soothing effect to the mind and there are a lot of activities that also go on the sea coast okay so when did you visit it then next point two or three sentences you can write is why that particular landscape is your favorite why do you like it so much okay and what activities you did there when you went to that particular place so think about only one particular place okay it may be a mountain it may be a sea coast it may be a desert it may be a place near a river what did you do there okay and so after see this can be the introduction that india has a variety of landscapes then which one is your favorite so just five to six sentences using these points just five to six sentences you can write which one is your favorite and for the conclusion see all these are places which are close to nature okay like unlike the cities that we live in these places are quite different okay so any place that is close to nature it gives us a lot of peace of mind it has a gentle effect and we love to go to those places again and again why because staying in the crowded cities all the time we would definitely like a place which is close to nature because we're living in the cities we don't find a lot of natural beauty around us but these are the places which are a source of natural beauty so this you can write for the conclusion so in that way you can build up a whole paragraph of say about 10 to 12 sentences writing about your favorite landscape that is activity 10 which you need to write using these points write activity 10 in your notebook